Well, the countdown to 2022 is on, but so is the time to get COVID test results. Tests that take one or two days to process would land on New Year's Eve. Those instant at-home tests, though, are hard to come by. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is in our newsroom with a race to find the right COVID test. Madison? Yeah, let's take one day at this local pharmacy. In 92 COVID tests, 22% came back positive. The advice from that pharmacist, if you find an at-home COVID test, pick it up because they're hard to keep stocked, and once they're in, they sell out in a few hours. We got 200 tests last week Monday. We sold out in less than eight hours, all 200. There's no way to show what pharmacist Sonia Frosto just mentioned. All you'll see is an empty shelf. Because 10 Acres Pharmacy in Sacramento hasn't gotten a restock of at home COVID tests from their wholesaler. This is considered a negative test where there is no line. There's an increased demand for walk in COVID tests before New Year's Eve and after Christmas. So you can see the control in the sample with two lines would be a positive test. It's not the only positive test today. In fact, 15 minutes later, another positive. This one, a rapid yeah, test. So you can, um, view the results. Oh. <laughs> this is a positive test. The surge of COVID cases is a factor, but also the holidays. Getting the test so that hopefully none of us have Omicron or any of the COVID tests and we can enjoy our, our holidays. She's vaccinated and boosted, but has plans for New Year's Eve and needs a negative COVID test. At this point in the year, she didn't think she'd still be worried about the virus. Things started settling down, then Omicron came out, so that's why I'm pretty stressed out today. A positive test, we get the two lines, but the negative test, we get one. So a negative test is a peace of mind, but like this pharmacist suggests, she'll wear a mask on New Year's Eve regardless. If you're going to go out with your uh, friends and family this holiday, wearing a good mask is going to be important. Yeah, so getting those tests, Amazon may actually be your best bet to get your hands on one of those at-home tests if that's the way you'd want to go. Rapid tests of pharmacies are available, but they'll cost you. Today, that hour or less test that we saw cost around $170. The one to two day wait cost around $80. So that peace of mind for New Year's Eve does come with a price tag.